as promised, I said I'd introduce you to the basic equipment on our, our last introduction. Uh, first of all, we need paper. This is a piece of paper, watercolour paper, which is ideal for practising on. These are our four brushes, which uh, I, I think uh, are basically uh, stuff, sort of stuff you'll need, sort of a, a number 10, a number 6, a number 13 mil and a rigger. And now with all the little brushes you can do everything with them. So what I want to do now is introduce you to the, the I, use a, I use a palette and I'll show you my palette which is, is old like me, ancient, it's cracked, it's broken, it's split across there but because because I'm a Yorkshireman, I won't throw anything away. So on one of the ships, one of the joiners did me a favour and on the back he put some pieces of wood on it which has stabilised it and I've used it for years like that. So the palette itself is only about two pound, but it's like an old friend. Well that's the palette, but there's colours all around the edge and these are the mixing areas in the middle. So from there we'll try and start and do a little bit of mixing. Uh, this, by the way, is just a jam jar full of water, which is ideal for, for doing the job. Let's pick some colour up and do a bit of mixing. Dip in the water. Put some on the palette there and get a colour. So we'll start with this one just here. This is called raw sienna, if you're interested. It's a beautiful yellow, like a golden colour, ideal for corn peels and things like that. And you'll find that that is, that is ideal. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll tell you what we'll do, we'll, we'll be sure the marks the brushes make as well. That's, this is a the number six brush, ideal. That's one brush. Then we've got the bigger brush, which is more washers. That's this bigger brush here. So mix a bit of dark there, that's burnt umber into there. That's that, that colour there. That's a darker colour. So let's see what, what marks this big brush makes. It spreads out more. It's good for washes and stuff like that. Ideal. Wash the brush. And then we've got a, a flat brush, which is this one here. Nice flat brush, ideal for doing straight edges and things like that. So I'll get a, a, a different colour. Let's have a look at this colour here. This is called Payne's Grey. Let's see what that gives us. Mix a bit of colour in there. Doesn't matter if we're blending with that, so we're only praying about. So don't, don't worry about colours and things like that. Now this, this is a, a lovely kind of a brush and it makes you some lovely, lovely do 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 and that can be even start of an old fence if you like. It's down there and there you got the stand of an old fence. But that, that's, a, that's a, a lovely little brush for doing things like that. Easy. So easy. So what you think might be difficult is easy with the right brush. Let's give it a bit, let's give it another job, shall we? Let's see what, what else we've got. Another thing you can do with it is, like, say, when you want to speak, say a wall or something like that, you get a brick and a brick and a brick. And then, of course, as the builder wall, there's one offset like that, and one offset like that, and one there, one there, and one there. And as you go along, you're building a wall up. That's just with this little brush. That's ideal. So that's, that's a useful brush, that one. Wash the brush out. And let's have a look at the rigger. The rigger is a nice brush. The rigger is, is called a rigger because painters use it for painting the uh, ship's rigging. When they're doing a ship, they'll have the rigging. It's, it's a fine brush, really fine brush like that. We can mix a bit of colour on there with this rigger. Let's see what, what we can do with a rigger. 
I'll move the palette so you can see what you're doing. And we can go and get grasses or anything like that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Or small trees or something like that. You can take those trees and make a tree. Anything you like. Lovely little brush. Ideal to start with. Right, that's, that's our, our, our brushes and our palette. So what I want to do now is move that up the thing. I want to show you some a little basic colour mixing. Now before you think, oh dear, what's this, what's this boring old part talking about? I'm, I'm, I'm not talking about making lots and lots of squares and things with different colours in and blending and this, that, the other. I just want to take a, take a few colours and see what we've got. So I'm going to use, say, we'll start, we'll start with this side here. We've got that one we started with. Um, I'll put a, a blob of that there. And then the next one along is, 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 a, is a lemon colour of that. That's a lovely colour, that, the lemon. I'll put a blob there, which is lovely. Wash the brush out in between each time. Now here's a, underneath that rubbish I've got there, believe it or not, is not a lemon, it's a yellow, which is a richer colour and less citrus. So let's see what that gives us. Yeah, that's a warmer colour altogether. So that's a yellow. Wash the brush. And then we'll choose your next colour we've got here. We've got a colour called Burnt Sienna. A lovely colour. Lovely for autumn tints and things like that. Let's see what we've got with this one. That's lovely. Wash the brush. Let's see what else we've got. Now next one is a colour called Burnt Umber. A burnt umber is a dirty brown colour, but uh, when you, what you can do with it is wonderful things. When I add it with, with blues and things like that, you get gorgeous greys for skies and things like that. But as I say, I'm just, just, just twiddling down with a bit of colour mixing and seeing, seeing where we go. So there, there's, there's five for a start and see where we go. Let's, let's blend some colour into it and see what happens. Now I'm going further on the palette. Let's have a look at this one. This one is called Red. And I'm going to drizzle that into there like that. that and things will blend together there. The next one on, if I choose a, a, a blue, which is it's a nice uh, cadmium blue there, or cobalt blue, Pop that into there. What? What? It, it turns green. Look, it's a lovely colour. Just through blending the two together because it's still wet. The next one we've got. I've got a. I've got a called. It's crimson or alizarin crimson. It's called. It's a lovely colour. Lovely colour. And I'll blend that. I'll blend that with that there. See what happens to that. See what happens to the colours on it. There. Look at that. Let's try the next one. And the next one we've got is, I've got a red. Cadmium red. Let's see what we've got with this one. Cadmium red starts flowing into that straight away. And away we go. And the last one there, I'll see a several other colour. Well, I've got, I've got a blue with it. Add a blue to it and see what happens. It's, a, it's a usually probably greyish colour and all that. Look at that there. Ooh. Turns greeny, that one. Now then. Keep, I can notice I keep the other water switching, that's just me washing the brush, because I like to keep clean brushes. Now, alright, it's a shame to, to, to waste these these bits of paint, so I say I've been to York, I'm a bit mean. So let's 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 put a bit of colour on the end on this brush, this brush. And let's go like this though. And there, you didn't know you could draw figures, did you? So there's a few figures there. And of course, we can't have them just standing there like that. What we ought to do is put a bit of water in the palette, 
put a bit of yellow in there and a touch of blue that'll give us a bit of green and let's give them something to stand on to start with shall we that'll, that'll do there so they stood on some grass now so they just stood there doing nothing so what we ought to do is with our little rigger remember the rigger what we can do is just get a little brush get a dark colour and what is this boom bloom 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 boom put a post down like that this is all rough and what they are they're, they're leaving me on the fence aren't they but why are they leaving on this fence I know we'll, 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 we'll put them at the races shall we and just in the distance here, the left hand side, coming onto the picture, is, is a horse. It's going to be a rough horse this folks, but don't worry, it's, 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 it's on its way. There, and it's on its way. And then what we ought to have at the other end is perhaps, what about a winning post just here? That'll be a nice winning post with a nice red top on. There's the red. There, there's the winning post. So we, we, we're developing a, a, a day at the races. So just with a bit of colour mixing. So the next thing I want to do is, the, the, it's a bit sexist, but all these are blokes, aren't they? So let, let, let's turn some into ladies, because it's ladies day. Let's have a colour in here. Let's, uh, uh, let's mix some of this dark brown into this, this first lady here. We'll put her, put her a nice frock on. There, she's looking good. That's it. And what about a matching hat? That'd be nice, wouldn't it? You've got a hat on. So she's quite happy now. She's stood there with a posh frock on. And this, this next to it, we'll, we'll turn, turn him into her partner, her, the fellow that's with her. And we'll put him a, we'll put him a, a, a morning suit on, that'd be nice, wouldn't it, eh? Stick him on something like that, like that, like that, like that. Tails, of course, on this. And then, of course, he's going to have a, a top hat on, isn't he? So he's, he's, he's a racer, so it's just a top hat job. There, he's, he's there. And of course, because he's with this lady, he's going to reach out and hold her, isn't he? Smoothly, real smoothly. Watch him. So he's all right now. I don't, I'm not so keen on his green trousers, but, but he, he'll, he'll do. And the next one, that could be another lady. Let's let's put her some nice colours on as well. Uh, we'll put her some red on, shall we? Put in a red outfit. Put one of the wait, yes, feathers coming out like that. That type of dress, be nice. And then one of these uh, these what are they call them? I don't care what they call them. These these neck things what they have around themselves. Boas, a boa, that's it, a boa. And, and of course, she's going to have a matching hat, isn't she? So let's put a matching hat on there. And what about one of these fascinated things, what they, they stand to the side of? That'll do, wouldn't it? Like that. Oh yes, yes, I can see she's a, a cute one, this one. Really upmarket this girl. Right, so that's three of them done. Now what shall we do? We better make this into a fella as well, because he's with this, with this lady. Yes, she's not just on her own. Uh, I think we'll put him in a in a brown a brown jacket. Yeah, a nice dark brown jacket. That'd be nice for a start. Oh yes, big lad, broad shoulders. You know. Weight train, I think, this one. And here again, he's, he's with this lady here, so, so he, he wants to sort of 
Mm. Be careful where he's putting that hand on. It's, it's a bit tricky that. But we'll see. It's how we go. Uh, shall we leave him red trousers on? Yeah, I suppose so we can. But he, we'll put him a flat cap on. How's that? A nice flat cap. Flat cap. He's, he's with this lady, so we'll put him a little flat cap on. With a peak on. There he is. Some black shoes on the bottom, like that. Uh, this, this one at the end, I, I can't make up whether mine is a, is a fella or a woman. So let's, uh, well, let's call him a fella and he's on his own. He's single. Lucky man. <laughs> and we'll put him a blue, a blue sweater on here like that. Uh, he's got his hand under there and he's, he's just watching the racing. He's picked his winners out and away he goes. Look at that. He's all set there. Put him a pair of trousers on, because he's drafty. Uh, let's see, what colour trousers do we want for him? Uh, I think some... Oh, some... We'll have some dark... No, not dark. We'll have some... We'll have some... Crimson trousers. Make him look a bit smart. There he is. There he's got some trim, crimson trousers on there. And he stood waiting for the winner. So, how to what? Well, we still have a bit of a hat on, haven't we? And what we started, he will put his arm on there like that. So he's holding the pole. Everything's made with the horse now. So, he, what he started with just, just a, a little bit of colour mixing, you've now got a, a, a race scene. You didn't think you could draw figures, but now you can draw figures. You didn't know you could draw a fence, but with a rigger to do that. You didn't know you could do a winning post. Well, the horse, well, the horse is a bit dodgy, but, but uh, it just turns your little colour mixing into something a bit more interesting. And because mixing colours just like that, it, oh, you get bored to your brains, I tell you. You just don't want to do that. So what I want you to do is practice that to start with and see how you go. And next time we do one, We'll see how far we go with the next picture. We might have some trees next, okay?